वेलकम टू हु आर एकेडमी यस स्टेटिस्टिकल क्वालिटी कंट्रोल एंड आर टॉपिक इज कंट्रोल चार्ट एंड नाउ वी हैव रिच द लास्ट टाइप ऑफ कंट्रोल चार्ट एंड दैट इज नोन एज सी चार्ट इट इज एक्चुअली द कंट्रोल चार्ट फॉर नंबर ऑफ डिफेक्ट पर यूनिट रिमेंबर इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी स्टडीड अ कंट्रोल चार्ट नेम एन पी चार्ट What was the meaning of NP? Number of defective units. That means we just need to count the number of units with a predefined defect in a sample. That means sample is say sufficiently large, and we Study the sample and find the number of units with predefined defect. That means in each and every defective unit there is a similar kind of defect which we have defined earlier. Here in C chart, by the term or say sign C mean number of defects. per unit this is the difference here in c chart we need to inspect each and every unit for possible number of defects yes so here the kind of study is different and obviously we can have a small sample reasonably small sample having 10 12 15 20 25 units only yes and each and every unit is inspected for having number of defects that means here sample is actually a single unit only if we compare the situation with the previous charts each sample is made up of single unit or say rather here it is not the case of actually sample study it is the case of study of the whole population each and every unit is inspected examined and there is a possibility of more than one defects in one unit say the take an example here number of aircrafts and number of missing rivets before taking off every time the aircrafts are inspected for various kinds of errors and here we have defined the error in the form of missing rivets not a single rivet should be missing before taking off so these are the aircrafts having this number of say missing rivets found while inspection that means in aircraft number 1 there were seven defects seven rivets were missing in aircraft number 2 15 rivets were missing that means there were 15 defects and so on take another example a piece of glass of say certain measurement certain dimension say 8 by 4 8 feet and 4 feet and scratches on that glass sheet can be considered as defect we have to inspect each and every such kind of glass pieces and how to count the number of scratches yes of course the glass sheet with such kind of scratches is actually say rejected that's another thing but we want to go for study of the average number of defects and on the basis of we have to say determine the limit of uh, say tolerance up to how many scratches we should consider it a normal piece of the product take another example a sheet of lamination for furniture purpose a sheet of metal a sheet of mirror etc can be taken as product and in all these kinds of product we have to go for statistical quality control through c chart i hope it is now clear in your mind what is the difference between previous charts and this c chart let's go for the 
construction of chart and drawing conclusion and I can say that this is the easiest control chart here we have 12 aircrafts inspected for number of rivets missing and this is the presentation of the data and summation of the total number of missing rivets in all 12 crafts comes to 168 that is shown as sigma c and number of aircrafts are 12 so we can have average number of defects per piece as 168 divided by 12 that comes to 14 that means in this particular study on an average 4 rivets are missing per aircraft on an average now before drawing control chart we need to say uh, calculate the upper control limit lower control limit etc and as usual this mean itself becomes the central line and upper control limit for this control chart is so much easy to calculate upper control limit first write the uh, full title is c bar plus 3 into under root c bar the easiest possible formula 14 plus 3 into under root 14 now use your calculator to find out the square root of 14 and it comes to 3.1417 3.1417 multiply it by 3 so it will be approximately 11.225 yeah and therefore upper control limit of c chart comes to uh, 25.2 yes we shall restrict it up to 2 because of the millimeter line or millimeter box in on sorry on our graph paper now write the full title lower control limit can only use short form c bar minus 3 into under root c bar we have already calculated the right hand side after minus sign so it will be 14 minus 11.225 it comes to 2.775 so we take lower control limit as 2.8 0 0.8 will be placed according to the millimeter mark now we have 12 samples okay let's try to draw the control chart as usual I am able to draw the sketch of the graph only Yeah, uh, sample number on x axis as usual 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, the lowest value in the data is 7, highest is 22 and lower control limit is 2.8 upper control limit is 25.5 so from 2.8 to 25.5 25.2 so from 2 to 26 we have to write i think on your graph paper it will be possible to write from 2 to 24 leave here just one box only below the x-axis so that it will be convenient for you to write all the numbers 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 okay yes these are number of defects per unit number of defects per unit in short it is c yes 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 and 26 because we need to plot to 25.2 that's why we write it up to 26. Okay first of all three lines of three control limits central line first of all is 14 and it is drawn as continuous line always central line here it is 14 upper control limit is 25.2 2 millimeters above 25 and upper and lower control limits are drawn as dotted or broken line all these things are important
and lower control limit is 2.8 so 2 millimeters below 3 lower control limit sometimes it happens that in case of c chart we have lower the calculation of lower control limit shows the negative number then we take it as zero yes sometimes it happens lower control limits of c that is 2.8 here in this case and now the procedure is same as it was in all previous cases pair of sample number and number of defects 7 in 1 15 in 2 13 in case of 3 4 18 in case of 5 it is 10 in case of 6 it is 14 exactly on the central line in case of 7 it is 13 in case of 8 it is 10 in case of 9 it is 14 in case of 10 it is 11 and in case of 12 it is 22 sorry 22 here and in case of 12 it is 15 yes and in say our discussion on control charts it happens very first time that all the sample points are within an upper control limit and lower control limit so in our series of lectures we first time conclude that the process is under control statistically we can conclude that the process is under control because all the sample points lie within upper control limit and lower control limit or say below the upper control limit and above the lower control limit so yes otherwise you know that we are very much stringent in drawing the conclusion even only one sample point is either above the UCL or below the LCL we conclude that the process is not under control here we conclude that the process is under control because of this situation I hope this lecture also proves to be useful to you all don't forget to like this and all my videos all my lectures don't forget to visit my channel and subscribe it and equally important Please, please, please recommend my channel, my lectures to all who are interested in learning something new. Yes, that's it. Thank you very much.